The Forest Land and Agriculture Guidance, or SBTI flag as we call it, is the first standard for companies in land-intensive sectors to set science-based targets as their contribution to limit global warming to 1.5 degrees Celsius. This sector contributes 22% to global emissions every year. That's a huge chunk of emissions that has not been included in corporate accounting or mitigation actions to date. But this sector also has a secret weapon, carbon removals. Because of the ability of plants to sequester carbon and store that in biomass and soils, when we combine the reductions and removals opportunities, this sector has the potential to provide up to 30% of global climate mitigation needed by 2050. SBTI's flag framework includes two sets of targets, a whole sector approach covering everything from deforestation to diet shift, as well as 11 mitigation pathways for major commodities with high carbon footprints like beef, soy, palm oil, and timber. Moving forward, companies with land intensive activities in their value chain will now be required to set a flag target. A critical part of delivering on a flag target will be stopping land conversion across all ecosystems. This alone contributes 11% to global emissions. We like to say there's no net zero without zero conversion, which is why SBTI will be requiring companies to commit to zero deforestation by 2025 as part of their target. The impacts of climate change are increasingly devastating and affect us all, no matter where we are or what we do. But agriculture and forestry will be the most impacted by climate change through events like increased drought, floods, temperature shifts, and pest and disease. It's really a matter of survival for these sectors. If we want to have a nature positive net zero future, we must act now. If your company is in the forest, land, or agriculture sector, commit to setting a flag science-based target and join the corporate leaders taking action worldwide.